Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the Vanishing Point tool. Also, if you want to boost your skills in Photoshop, I want to share with you Nick Peterson, who's an award-winning designer in Photoshop. In this course, he teaches you how to create elaborate, realistic digital compositions with a strong and meaningful message. Using Photoshop, learn Nick's professional techniques for creating award-winning digital collages. Creating something correct in Photoshop is not easy. You need to understand the principles of composition, perspective, lining, shading, retouching, and a lot more. Discover how to apply special effects using blending modes for shadows, highlights, and other other techniques for enhancing your project. Close the course by learning how Nick finishes his images and prepares them for digital mediums from social media to large-scale prints. To find out more, click the link in the description and join the course. Now let's get back to our tutorial. Basically here, this is a building in perspective. So check this out. It had like these wild shapes and I'm going to show you how to put all sorts of images that you want in perspective, you know, in a really short period of time. And Adobe has this uh, figured out. It's a quick tool and it's uh, really versatile. So first thing, select your image. Uh, this is uh, basically I searched on onsplash.com for some architectural images and I came up with this really cool one. And for patterns, I designed some patterns in Illustrator and I'm just, I just gonna copy paste some of these patterns. So I'm gonna select this one, press Control C, gonna jump into Photoshop. I'm gonna press Control V. Basically, if you have any kind of image you want to put on buildings or any kind of, you know, in perspective, you just can drop it in, you know, and select the pixel, click OK. I'm gonna basically distort this, you know, press and hold shift plus alt. I'm gonna rotate it, double click. I'm gonna actually make it more wider. Okay, from here, I'm gonna press and hold control, click on the layer with the texture. So basically, it's going to select the texture. I'm gonna press control C. And from here, I'm gonna press control D to deselect. See that? Now it deselected the texture. I'm gonna uncheck the texture. I'm gonna actually make a new copy of the image in perspective so I don't touch the original one. So we're gonna go up to the filter, click on the filter and se select vanishing point. We got a couple of options here and we're gonna need this one, create plane tool. I'm also gonna select the zoom tool, click here because I'm gonna work with this area and now I'm gonna select the create plane tool. I'm going to start from here, click, I'm going to go to this point. I'm going to go all the way up here because as you can see, it won't end here. You know, all this perspective shape is going out. I'm going to go all the way here. I'm going to come back right here. Okay, so if you want to perfect this, you also cl can click on the zoom, you know, zoom in and select again the create plane tool and just rearrange it, you know, make it perfect. I'm gonna press the zoom, press and hold Alt and click and this way it's gonna zoom out. I'm gonna select the edit plane tool and press Control V. So now we have the texture. So now I'm gonna move the texture. I'm just gonna select it and just drag it here. And as you can see, now it starts to put in perspective and now you can arrange it however you like. I'm gonna leave it like this so far and I'm gonna press OK looks something like this, but it doesn't have any shadows or textures like you can see in the other walls. So what I'm going to do is go to the blend options and select maybe the darken. So now it's more trans transparent. You can see some shadows. You can see some uh, lighter areas. Now it's, in, it's more realistic. So this was it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.